Hey team, welcome to Small Blacks TV. It's a big one today because DC is here with a Small Blacks Masterclass. That's DC as in Dan Coles, not Dan Carter, who also did a ton of Small Black skills and drills, which you can still watch on smallblacks.com. Let's see how Dan gets on. Hi team, I'm Dane and here's another Small Vax Masterclass. Today I'm going to take you through some dribbling. Dribbling is a great skill to keep the ball controlled when you can't pick it up. If you're having trouble dribbling a ball and controlling it at your feet, you need a few simple tips to help you on your way. So now we're going to work on the dribbling. So you know sometimes um, the ball's on the ground and you're running too fast. If that happens we want to make sure we, we target the ball, we're probably going to get our our shoulders and over the ball, we just want to have nice light feet and just control the ball like that going through. Sweet. So you want to chuck the ball down and we'll have a we'll see if we can't hit each other's ball, okay? That's the one. Then we'll turn around, come back. Nice guys, good work. Nice guys. Rugger's brave, Rugger is the best, he loves new adventures and tackling a new quest, he's Rugger. Last week on Rugger Tales, the rescuing Rugger bees all hit the snow, but they did not find Alice and decided to go. The hooded knight offered his thought for the day. Try the rainforest, cuzzies, it's over that way. That's where we pick up the story. Ah, my unspeakably evil plan is working. The unsuspecting Rugabees are about to walk into a trap. <laughs> Hello, boss. We're all ready to go. Wait, you numbskulls. Haven't you forgotten something? Mm. I don't think so. We've got everything on the list. You, you haven't you forgotten not to bring something? Mm. Alice! Alice, you nitwits! The prisoner is supposed to stay in the prison! Oh, yeah! Sorry, boss. Sorry, Alice. You have to stay here with the boss. We'll bring you back a lollipop. Now, go out there and get me those rugabies. Alive! Or dead! <laughs> yeah. Okay, come on, boss! <laughs> Meanwhile, the Rugabees were entering the rainforest. Oh, th th this is like the dark and murky forest at home in Ruggerland, trembled Webb. Oh, I hope there are no hero bees on the trees. It's okay, Webb, assured Rugger. There are no dangerous creatures in this whole land. You could sleep anywhere and be safe, even in a forest. The Rugabees made their way deeper into the rainforest. It's starting to get dark, William said. We'd better head back and continue our search in the morning. Oh, what does this sign say? It says, way out. Thank goodness, answered Webb. But what was this evilness lurking in the lush native bush? The vile, thieving, stinky mountain men were up to no good again. Oh, good work changing that sign, Bravo! Oh, that's good. Now they want to thieve us to the forest. <laughs> I think the rugby bees will be okay because they have a great team, just like these guys. Wellington's Oriental Rongatai is famous for turning small blacks into all blacks. And this season, the next crop of young magpies are in search of their own glory. It's about teamwork, loyalty, passion, and commitment. It's about the thrills, the spills, and most of all, about the fun. Let's go, magpies! Coaches, they talk a lot, maybe too much, but the good ones inspire and motivate small blacks to greatness. And we reckon Jace is one of the best. Hey, just have a quick huddle. Yeah, I think the team talks are really important. Um, you know, rugby's a game where you need to, you know, get really focused. And I think Jace does really well at sort of focusing the boys in on that. He's, he's quite gentle in his approach, but I think that's so, you know, it's kind of like delivering it 
at a medium level where you're kind of like not freaking some kids out, but at the same time gearing some kids up to give it a go. We do have team talks and they're actually really good. They do help us with what we need to work on and what we need to just keep doing because we're doing it well. When we put pressure on, we put pressure on really well. I think he goes really well in his team talks. He is pretty clear and concise on what they need to do next to ensure that they're doing better in the second half, even a kind and needing to give a tough review of performances or where improvements need to be made. He does have to give us a little bit of a shout just to get us going. Come on, guys, you need to do this. You need to do this now. Just put a shoulder on. You did everything right. But they're running hard, you've got to meet that hardness with hardness. Under the post, it's mostly get back out to the halfway line, make your biggest effort and run it and get it all the way to the other end. He um, encourages us a lot by telling us to keep going. And it doesn't matter of the results, it just matters how, how hard you play. Little things that we need to work on, little things that we can do better. But he says it in a good way, like it's not put down, it's motivating. And then sometimes he just goes, you did this really well, just keep doing what you're doing. There's a couple of good cliches that come out from myself and the coaches. 300% better. He'll start off quite gentle, but then if things don't go his way, he'll just start firing shots. <laughs> you guys have got to get angry. I'd be angry if I was getting beaten this bad. And every once in a while, um, some of the coaches will, will really put it down to the kids that they're just not trying hard enough and they're just not making it. Mills, what are you doing out there? And I'm always glad to see them do that. There's a, there's, they're always ever so nice about it. Keep it up. That defence before that try was outstanding. On the whole, they're a good bunch of listeners. They do sit down, be quiet. But, you know, you can be reasonably hard. You can give them a punishment. You need to be... You need to be strict. You need to have consequences for not following instructions. Here it is, here it is! Oh, see? That's where you know it happens if you don't go hard, eh? I'm gonna hit you back. Sometimes kids realise, oh, far out. You know, he's not always gonna be the nice guy. If you wanna get the ball, put a shoulder on, make a tackle. This is not a tackle, this is scared. Just get in and hit ruck, hit ruck, hit ruck. It's really frustrating watching people not spread out and get past the ball and stuff. So I think Jason would feel that when we miss a tackle or something and go, oh. Over, over! I think he's trying to create a really supportive team culture. Hi. Play as a team, support each other, help each other. Play for your mates. If coaches do their job, then everybody had fun during the game. But even after the final whistle, there is still work to do. Player of the match today. Okay, someone who really impressed me. Didn't touch the ball once, I don't think. But tackling, clearing out, doing his job. So that goes to Ewan today. Well done, Ewan. I saw Ewan make more tackles today than he did last year. That's the kind of message I want to put. He probably didn't touch the ball at all, but he hit 20 rucks and made 15 tackles. And that was his job, and, that, and he knew that role, and he went out and performed that role, and that was awesome, and you've got to reward that. Ewan knows he's not a ball carrier. He's just doing his role, tackling and clearing out, chasing everything he can, OK? And that's what we're looking for. Do your job. Sometimes that's not touching a ball. Sometimes that's clearing out, clearing out, tackling, tackling, clearing out again. We had a kid that game who scored three tries. The easy decision is to give that player the player of the match. The hard one is to actually pick out things that other people do well. It's not always the stars. Awesome job, guys and girls. Awesome. Hi, I'm Kieran, and here's another Small Blacks Masterclass. Today I'm going to take you through the clean-out. If you're not sure about what you're allowed to do and what is safe to do in a clean-out, then here are some simple tips to help you when your player gets tackled. So guys, a clean-out, um, how I see a clean-out, if I'm going to a ruck and, and my mate's presented the ball and there's no one there from the opposition, I'll pick it up and we'll keep playing. If there's an opposition player who wants to go for the ball who is in that ruck, uh, we've got to clean them out, out of the way so we can present the ball for our halfback. Got to get nice and low prior to the ruck, um, and when you're coming into that, that clean-out area, get your hands up, and really you just want to 
make sure your airplane taking off, not heading down at them. So nice and low and take off with your body. So you want to get down low and come up, try and take them out, wrap them and just, just carry them forward away from the ball and the ruck. So your halfback can then use it and you keep playing. So I'm like this, ready to steal the ball. You just come in and, and clean me out of the way. Oh, that's the way. I got the ball. Oh, clean out. Nice one. Hey, that's solid. Hey. <laughs> Everybody. Today, I've got somebody very special to help me with my ABCs. Hey, everybody. Pumped to be on the show. Looking forward to the letter. One of my favourite letters is I, because I like sentences that start with I. I have noticed that, Rugger. My favourite word of all time is ice, and ice is at the start of other words. Can you name them? Hmm. Uh, iceberg, ice cap, oh. iceless, ice bound, mm. ice house, electric, ice mm. man, icicle. Yes. Don't forget ice blocks. Ice blocks is too rugged. Oh. We'll let that happen. That's fine. Oh yeah. Oh, that's cold, buddy. And that's the end of our show. Don't forget to get outside and practice your skills. Have fun, but try hard. Our coach always says, practice like you play. See you next week. And it's my favourite! And hot! Nice work, Tommy!